The Easter Triduum of Jerusalem begins at the Holy Sepulchre on Thursday with the Mass of the Lord's Supper, remembering Jesus' Last Supper with the Apostles in which he offered to the Father his body and blood under the species of bread and wine. The Mass is celebrated at 8 a.m. according to the rules of the status quo governing the times of the celebrations in the Basilica of the Holy Sepulchre. It is celebrated on the site of the Resurrection, just a few steps away from the place of Jesus' death, indicating the unity of the Paschal Mystery and the relationship between the Lord's Supper and the Sacrifice of the Cross that will be commemorated the following day. It's a long liturgical celebration that lasts all morning, presided by the Patriarch of Jerusalem, Monsignor Fouad Dwal. He is the one who repeats the washing of the feet, just as Jesus washed the feet of his apostles and friends. It's a gesture of love that is the model and gift of the new commandment, Love one another as I have loved you. The Lord now asks us to imitate his example, said Monsignor Toile in his homily. Instead of pride, to imitate his humility. Instead of our anger, to receive his forgiveness and enter into an even greater love for him and for our brothers. During Mass, the ceremony of the blessing of holy oils also took place, the oil of the sick, of the catechumens, and of chrism. Many Christians participate in this Mass, but it's the number of priests that is especially impressive. This is also their day, the one in which they renew the promises they made at their ordination. Finally, all walk together, following the Blessed Sacrament that is carried in procession three times around the edicule of the empty tomb, and then placed in the tabernacle just above the Lord's Sepulchre, indicating that he who became food always lives with his people. At the end of the celebration, the doors of the Basilica are closed for several hours. The large wooden doors are opened again with a special ceremony. For centuries, the keys of the Holy Sepulchre have been entrusted to two Muslim families responsible for opening and closing the church, handing down this custom from generation to generation. Only on Holy Thursday, the Franciscans are granted the privilege of holding the key for the first opening of the afternoon. The keepers of the keys reach the Monastery of St. Saviour to deliver them into the hands of the custodial vicar. Then, Father Artemo Vitores walks down to the holy place, accompanied by a few friars. In front of the door of the basilica, the key is handed back to the responsible person in order to proceed with the opening. In this way, proceeds the long day of Jerusalem's Holy Thursday.